All right, guys, thanks for watching this diagnostic wheel video. Um, this is the cockpit of our Porsche Boxster 986 that we're sitting in right now. And what we're going to do is demonstrate these three kits. These three are the, uh, the pretty much the most popular kits uh, when it comes to Porsche owners for diagnosing and resetting faults uh, in the ABS system. Um, now, what we're going to do basically is um, show you the functionality and whether it or not it will connect to the 986 and 996 Porsche um, ABS systems. So, um, I'm not going to pull this one out of the box because the functionality of this one here is pretty much the same as the middle kit here, which is the, uh, the i960. Um, this does a few more functions on later models like 997s and 991s. So we're just going to put that to the side for now. Uh, so for now we're just going to look at the iCarsoft i960 because we've got this plugged into the diagnostic port here. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to try and establish a connection with the ABS system. So say for example you have an ABS fault on your dashboard, uh, you need to find out where the problem is. A lot of people will turn to this kit. So we'll click on to diagnose, Porsche, uh, Boxster 986, manual select. And then we're going to go into the ABS. So the ABS lights have come on here, the system, so it knows that the kit is actually uh, trying to connect. However, we get a message on screen saying fail to search the subsystem. So that is a known problem with the iCarsoft i960. You will get the exact same problem if you try to connect with the POR2 kit uh, from iCarsoft as well. So. Um, to be honest with you, a little bit of background information, we knew that was going to happen. We've previously tried to diagnose and we previously had customers who've tried to buy the i960 um, for an ABS fault on their 986 or 996. So um, it's, a, it's a little bit of sort of education really that we're trying to get it out there that this kit does not work on the 986 or the 996 for ABS systems. If you wanted to use the ABS system, uh, sorry, if you wanted to diagnose the ABS system, say for example in a 997 or 991 or Cayenne or um, Panamera, Cayman, absolutely fine. But not the 986 and not the 996, 911. Uh, right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to come out of this and I'm going to plug in the Foxwell. And let's see how we get on with this one. So, okay, so let's say we need to diagnose an ABS fault and we're going to use the Foxwell NT510 kit. Click on to manual selection, click down to Boxster 986, diagnosis, control units, ABS. So, we'll get the lights coming up, I would imagine. There we go. So, it's telling us that it's communicating, and then this time we'll go into read codes and it's telling us system pass, no fault found. So that means it's getting a good connection with the ABS system. If there were any faults within that ABS system, it would naturally tell us straight away. Um, so this kit is the one to go for if you're looking for ABS faults or airbag faults in your 986 Boxster or 996 911. Uh, again, this kit is available at Diagnostic World. It's www.diagnostic-world.com. Uh, you can just click the link directly below this video. We'll put a link in the uh, the information below the video. And also, if you just search for Diagnostic World in your Google search engine, our website will come up. And if you just go to the ABS section on the left-hand side, select Porsche, and you will see this kit from there. Uh, so thanks for watching this video, and I hope it's helped.